I've investigated both of your filmographies, mm -hmm. okay. and I don't think you've ever been in anything as gay, camp, and fabulous as this. Am I right? Yeah, Correct. 100%. Correct. One one hundred percent. Yeah. Does anything match up to it? No. Well, I did ride a. I did ride a drag. <laughs> <laughs> that is gay. That is really gay. <laughs> no, I'm only saying that because so I was in an SNL skit with Bo and Yang, and we just made this joke about riding a dragon. <laughs> Right. In my last movie, so yeah, I'm, I'm thank you, you for that. perusing my filmography. It must have yeah. taken you all of three <laughs> seconds, but um, but no, this 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 was the this was the um, this is the gayest movie I've ever been in. Yeah, mm. proudly. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so what's wonderful about this film is that Barbie has a lot of racial diversity. LGBT actors are cast as different variations of Ben, Ben, Ben. We Ken. love Ben, Ben, yep, ben. ben. Barbie, and Ken. Um, what do you think this <laughs> What do you think this inclusivity means for viewers at home watching the film? I mean, I, I think Greta set out a world where Barbie is inclusive to, to make a world where, where mm. Barbie is super inclusive and um, even just not limiting like who Ken is and, and what Ken looks like and how he walks out in the world. Like they're dancers cast as background a actors and, and background Kens who, you know, move a very specific specific way that, you know, I didn't imagine necessarily my Kens looking like or are moving like growing up. And, and I think she just opens up the world of who Barbie and Ken can be in, in the most, you know, beautifully realistic way, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I think I think just to to build on that, it's it's just about doing away with these like really boring rules, you know, rules that I I grew up with. You know, boys boys have to play with this and wear this color, and girls can only play with this and wear this color, and that's just that's just dumb as fuck. Mm -hmm. We should be able to play with whatever toys you want and to express yourself to to your fullest and your most most authentic. Yeah, I mean, when I stole my neighbor's Barbie, it was a scandal in the neighborhood. I don't think it would be now. Mm -hmm. But one of the questions that we get a lot is like, what, what did you take from set? And mm. she and she had so many amazing outfits. She had the president sash, yeah. and she didn't she didn't steal any of it. Anything. You didn't steal anything. No. So come on now. I'll take a lesson from you. Believe that next yeah. time. Mm -hmm. Come on, you're in this industry. You got to steal some shit. Mm. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask you what your own personal history with Barbie and Ken is. For me, I loved to play with Barbies mm -hmm. as a kid until. You know, it was not cool to. And then as soon as I found out it wasn't cool, I was like, no, I don't play with Barbies. And then, you know, I, I kind of always felt bad about that. Mm -hmm. um, that I couldn't just freely play with, with Barbies after a certain age without kind of being shunned mm -hmm. for it. Um, but Barbies were my gateway into like telling stories and, and creating drama around characters and also, all the questions I had about life, life and mm -hmm. and, and dating and sex mm -hmm. played out through Barbies. Mm -hmm. I wish I I wish I played with Barbies and Kens as a kid. I feel like I would have dressed like I feel like I would have dressed better. Mm -hmm. I feel like <laughs> I feel like it just would have been such a primer in like in like fashion mm -hmm. and pattern yeah. and pattern clashing and colors. And I feel like that took me a long time. I I think I still struggle with it mm -hmm. a lot. I didn't. I don't. I didn't make yeah. this, you know. You but good. maybe. But thank you. Thank you so yeah. much. I will tell my stylist that uh, <laughs> she did a wonderful job. But but how amazing would it have been if I had a little bit more exposure to like fashion if I when, when I was a little bit younger? That's how, a good ass point because a lot of people. Uh, a lot is of a good the, ass point. Thank you. <laughs> a lot of the stylists and and um you know like hair makeup mm -hmm. people like they played with Barbies and so many of their artistic mm -hmm. talents were you know, cultivated through through Barbie. So I feel that, mm -hmm. you know, I think I would have also been better in a lot of different ways if I play with Barbies in a specific way, but again, they brought me to storytelling. Yeah. So I'm glad you see that. Oh. God, Barbie's impact, eh? Barbie's, Barbie's impact. impact. Let's go. 